Brother Tommy Brooks, right. there in Houston, Texas. Yeah. And so we're here tonight, uh, thankful for the invite uh, to be here uh, by Brother Clay, my friend, and also for the committee uh, that asked me to come and to speak concerning a subject that I think uh, all those that I've heard I've been uh, able to hear on uh, the time that me and my wife have been here uh, have been uh, subject matters that uh, have been uh, relevant and pertinent to the Church of Christ. And so tonight what I want to do is uh, look at, for the moments that I have, going back to first-time love. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Going back to first-time love. And so uh, my scripture text I was given is Revelations uh, chapter 2, verses 4 uh, and 5. And again, I'm Brother Horace Stroud uh, from the Highland Heights uh, Church of Christ. So in order to give uh, this uh, subject matter for those, uh, I always try and preach uh, from the least to the greatest and may be able to understand. And I don't want to assume that someone knows something that they may not know in the text. So let us look at Revelations chapter 2, and I'll get to my text. And, and uh, chapter 2, the Lord, uh, talking through John and Patmos, uh, the Bible says uh, in verse number 1 of Revelations 2, he says, unto the angel of the church of Ephesus, he says, write, these things said he that holdeth the seven stars in his right hand, who walketh in the midst of the seven golden candlelight. So from the first verse, uh, this writing to the church of Christ in Ephesus begins with greetings from Christ himself. Yeah. And then in verse number two and three, the Bible says, uh, Jesus says, I know thy works. Oh, yeah and thy labor, yeah. and thy patience, yes, really. and how thou canst not bear them which are evil. Mm, right. And thou hast tried them which say they are apostles, and are not, and hast found them liars. Right. Yes, he said, has borne, yeah. and has patience, mm. for my name's sake uh, lay, has labored, and has not fainted. Well. So Christ then offers, commendation yes, to those things that this congregation had done well. All right. And now I pick up with my assigned text for this evening. He says, nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee because thou hast left thy first love. Christ here offers his complaint against this congregation. So I want to speak for the moments I have, going back to first time love. That's the problem in the church. We need to go back to the first time love. Yeah, uh, uh, we find that these Christians have shown their first love to Christ. Uh, in uh, Acts 19 and 4, the Bible says that they should believe on him which should come after him, after John, that is, on Christ Jesus. So we find that originally these members that became members, they believed that gospel message concerning Christ, death, burial, and resurrection. And the Bible says in Acts 19 and 5, when they heard this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. So we find from the text that unless you are taught concerning someone that is saved, you can never be saved. You cannot be taught wrong and baptized right. Yeah, yeah. So uh, what I would like to offer tonight concerning the Christians that were in Ephesus as well as some Christians even today is to identify the problem and offer some solutions from the word of God. Yeah, yeah we find that there's a problem uh, with the church. See, things when I uh, obey the Lord, issues that we're discussing now wasn't even discussed back then. Yeah, we didn't have uh, uh, debates on instrumental music in the church. We didn't have debates on hand clapping. We didn't have to talk to people about basing in the mic. We didn't have to discuss the roles of women in the church. They knew their roles. They knew them because they was taught back then. Yeah, but I found in the Lord's church, I said this to the church on Sunday night, 
what I found in the Lord Church with our some of our senior leaders in the church, we become just like grandparents. We are taking soft pills and we letting the children do whatever they want to do. Yeah. Yeah, the senior one who should be standing up. The same thing you discipline your children for, you won't discipline those that's coming up now. Yeah. 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 yeah, there's a problem in the church. Yeah, there's a problem when those that are leaders and those that are in leadership, you allowing stuff in the Lord's church that you didn't even hear about when you was coming up. But let's see what the problem is. The problem uh, has to do with leadership along with membership because we forgot about ownership. Yeah. Turn your Bibles. And Paul, enlighten us. I'm going to go from the Word of God. Turn your Bibles, Ephesians 4.17. And we'll begin to see the problem that the Lord talked to him about. Paul identified this issue when he talked to the church. Notice what he said in Ephesians 4, 17. This he I said, say therefore. This I say therefore. testify in the Lord. Yeah. That ye henceforth walk not as the other Gentiles walk. Yeah. In the vanity of their mind. Yeah, see. Having, now, no, no, you good. You good. Yeah, so what we find here, Paul said, if you put me uh, at that time, made me go to court and had to stand as a witness, I would tell the judge, you are all the Gentiles. Yeah. Yeah, and you got members in the Lord's church that are still walking around like Gentiles. Yeah. Paul was telling them that you henceforth not walk as the Gentiles walk in the vanity of your mind. Heaven. In other words, you had no production in your mind. See, the Gentile walk, as described by Jesus in Matthew 6.31, is one that was excessively concerned with the physical comforts and acquisition of material possession and wealth being materialistic rather than concerned with spiritual values. Yeah. That's the problem in the church. We got leadership now with concern with how much money is coming in and not how the church is growing yeah. spiritually. Yeah. Yeah. And the members of the same, Paul said, you all walk like Gentile. You, you are coming into the church and you behaving just like you were when you were in the world. Having the understanding darkened. Read. Being alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them. Yeah. Because of the blindness of their heart. One more verse. Who being past feeling have given themselves over unto lasciviousness to work all uncleanliness with greediness. No, no, see, that's, that's, notice what Paul told them. He said that your understanding has been darkened. Yes, sir. Now, and because of that, you have been alienated, alienated. from the life of God through ignorance. Uh -huh. Yeah. Now, through ignorance, he said that's in you. And because of the fact of the blindness uh -huh. of your heart. He said, now, who your past feelings have given themselves over to lasciviousness. You got members in the Lord's church that show no self-restraint. See, these Christians were still living like they were before they became Christians. There was no change in their lifestyle. Yeah. And it's a responsibility of leadership that membership behavior change. And let me say this here. There is a marked difference between being baptized and being converted. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we got a lot of members that are baptized, but they're not converted. I can't go nowhere. It got me on lockdown. That's okay. Paul was in a cell, and he still did his job. Yeah, I can still do my job. I just have to stand here and do it. Yeah, yeah. You got, you got, and again, what I'm saying is that, now understand this here too. We got preachers in the brotherhood. They have been baptized, but they still not converted. Yeah. How do you know that, Brother Stroud? Because they allow behaviors in the Lord's church that ought not even been seen in the Lord's church. Yeah. You know, you got leaders 
in the lower block. And I can't understand this here, how some of the elders that are in the 60s and 70s, yeah. you don't know nothing about basing in the mic and praying. You allowing that foolishness in the Lord's ch uh, church. And you're supposed to be watching out for the sheep. <laughs> yeah. We got people that have been baptized, but they are not converted. Yeah. yeah. So we got to go back and uh, uh, to uh, the first time, Lord, how was it when you first obeyed? How was it back then? See, we got some members become such because their parents were members first. They simply inherit the church of Christ. Lord, they, are, they have no sincere Lord, conversion. Lord, Lord. Yeah, there might be some of you here. Yeah, you only in the Church of Christ because it was you inherited the Church of Christ, and you are not converted. Yeah. Now let me say on that, I want to say now there are also some second and third generation Christians that are thankful for the parents being members, and they are faithful to this day. Thank God. Yeah. But I'm talking about we can raise up children and they'll never be converted. Let me say this here, a parent. We can hand down our faith to our children. However, conversion takes place in the heart of a Christian. Yeah, you can't convert their heart. You can have, we got a scripture, First Timothy 1 5, where Lois and Eunice handed down their faith, but was Timothy converted? That's the problem in the church. Somebody ought to say amen. Yeah, yeah. So Paul identified why these individuals had the issue that the Lord had to call them on the carpet about. Because you got members that are not converted. The Bible talks about ignorance is not spiritually converted. Yeah, we baptize them, but are they converted? We got to go back. We're not doing enough teaching in the Lord's church. Yeah, yeah. You know, where, where we are, me and Brother Brooks Labor at, at the Highland Heights, we, we, we let the church know, understand this. There won't be no bass marking. Won't be no praise team. Yeah, we want you to let know that now. So if, that, if this is not the place for you, what we encourage you to do, find a place where you can go there or somewhere else. Yeah. And see, sometimes people worry about, uh, you know, sometimes people get smart, even uh, in the Lord body. Well, how many uh, people have y'all lost? How many have we have stayed? Uh -huh. Yeah, we ain't, but we ain't worried about that. This is God's house. Yes, God will take care of the church oh, yeah. financially. Yes, yes, we ain't worried about members leaving. Lord, Lord. Yeah. But what but, but we find in the Lord's body, sometimes leadership are concerned about losing members, so we start allowing things in the Lord's church that we ought not be allowing. Go back to your first time love. Uh -huh. What did you grow up on? Uh -huh. Yeah. And so Paul, uh, when he talked to the to uh, the church, even back then in Ephesus, I'm staying with the text, uh, Brother Rufus, in yes. Ephesians 4.20. Go back there in 21. Notice what Paul said to them. But ye have not so learned Christ. Yeah. If so be that ye have heard him and have been taught by him as the truth is in Jesus. See, that's the problem. <laughs> yes, sir. That's what he said. Jesus said the problem was you have not, uh, Paul said, you have not so learned Christ. Right. It is, uh, we understand this here. Knowing Christ is not simply the teachings of Christ, but knowing Christ himself. This is the process of getting to know Christ, the person, and then applying that knowledge to live differently from the rest of the world. See, if I knew Christ, if I had the mind of Christ, I'd be concerned about other things. We tell our members at Highland High, everybody needs to be a part of a ministry. Yeah. You don't come here to be entertained. That's right. You come here to serve the Lord. Yeah. And if you are not serving, why not? Lord have mercy. That's Even our, 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 our senior members, we, we, say, we say, if you can't do nothing there, you can get on the phone and yeah. call the sick and shut in. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Every member should be active. Oh, if you are not active in the Lord's church, if not, why not? Yes, come on. Come on. Every member. Every member. 
That's what that, and that's when you have that first love. See, when you understand, the Bible says in Romans five and eight, but God commanded His love toward us, in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. See, if I don't ever understand that truly, I'll never serve the Lord the way I ought to. Yeah. See, when I realize how indebted I was. When I understand that I could not save, when Paul said you were without strength, yeah. what he said, you didn't have the ability, Harvey Stroud, to save yourself. Yeah. I'm thankful for the one that gave his life that was on the cross yeah. for six hours for me. I got to remember that. Paul said, if you keep in memory. Yeah. Some of us have forgot that. Forgot it. We get in the Lord's church and we start doing everything we think we're big enough to do. And understand this, we never submit ourselves to the authority of Christ. We never submit ourselves. So Paul says here that you have not learned about Christ. You know, so ask yourself, what do you really know about Christ the person. Yeah. What was the Paul said in the Philippians church? He said, let this mind be in you that was also this is the mindset. And see, watch the mindset. Paul said, look not every man on the things of his, but on a, a theme of others. Yes. Esteem others better than yourself. See, when I come to church and it's all about Brother Stroud, then I don't have the mind of Christ. The mind of Christ is concerned. Jesus said, and he told him in the Gentile, he said, seek ye first. Yeah, and our brother said it before about uh, converting and changing. You know, when you talk about, even people don't want to talk about money. When I said this here, I uh, told the church just Sunday, when you convert a man's pocketbook, yeah, yeah. Man. you convert the man. Yeah. 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 Right. Well, I told him uh, down in the uh, Holland Heights, I tell him, yeah, if all the members gave like they're supposed to give, you won't have no financial problem. Yeah. Right. yeah. Right. Most congregations are carried by a few members. Oh, yeah. We need to learn to give as we have prospered. Yeah. 1 Corinthians 16, 1 and 2. Just yeah. We got to learn how Christ sacrificed for us. And then watch this here. If one is not appreciative, they will never be thankful. Lord, Lord. Say that. Say that. Come on, Christ. That's a good point, sir. Yeah. See, you know how sometimes you can raise children. And children are not appreciative. So they won't be thankful. Lord, Lord. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I tell them the Highland Heights, and I, I tell them about, uh, uh, we were talking about our, our young people there. You know, we talked about on Sunday, I, I said that, about the fact that when you have kids, uh, or you raise them up, and our problem also, getting back to that first time, look, we got to raise our children properly in the Lord's church. Yes, sir. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we need to raise children saying, yes, sir, no, sir, yes, ma'am, and no, ma'am. Yeah, yeah. Say that, preacher. Say that. Yeah, that's getting back to that first time love. Understand this here. When your kids don't respect your authority, they get out in the street, police going to make them respect authority. Yeah. We're losing our young people because we won't go back to that first time love. We won't raise them the way we were raised. Yeah, Say that. yeah. Mm -hmm. And so I, I hasten to a close. It's all right, preacher. Go back to Revelation chapter 2. How does one go back to that first time love? Mm -hmm. Jesus gave the answer. Yeah. Revelation 2 and 5. Yeah. Jesus said, remember. Remember therefore from whence thou art fallen yeah. and repent. And do the first works. Or else? Or else I will come unto thee quickly and will remove the candlestick out of his place except thou repent. So now, <laughs> what is the answer to going back to our first time love? Jesus identified yeah. what their issue was. They had left their first time love. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and some of us, we need to go back to that 
first time love. Well, uh, how it was when you first obeyed the gospel, how you felt when you uh, first obeyed, the joy you had, the enthusiasm you had for worship service. Go back to that first time love. Paul, uh, Jesus said, remember, call back to your mind how it was back then where you have left from. Then he said, repent and do the first works. He said, now if you don't, I'm going to come quickly, and we don't know how quickly God's going to come. So now, remember, again, thank you, my brother. Remember again how God took you and cleaned you up, brought you into the Lord's church. And I was so thankful after living 27 years in the world. And the Lord brought me and allowed someone to teach me in the Lord's body. And I obeyed the gospel and became a Christian. And how I was on fire then. But back then, again, I had, when you first got baptized, you know, you had someone that would take you on the wing and they would teach you. You know, what we're trying to do in the Church of Christ now, we're trying to conform to those people that are coming in from the world instead of teaching them how to conform to the doctrines of Christ. Yeah. That's the problem. Yeah. And then we have a those in the Lord Church, like I said, I want to make this clear. You will know those uh, that don't believe the doctrine because now they've left the church and you got community churches and other churches, yeah. they were never converted. Right. You're right. You're right. Amen. The second problem you have, you have those that are still hiding up under <laughs> the Church of Christ banner. Yeah. However, everything they doing in their congregation, it looks like denominationalism. Oh, yeah. yeah. So you will know them. You'll know them. You th just because a person is baptized don't believe does not necessarily mean they believe what they obey. That's right. That's right. Yeah. yeah. How can you be in the church for 30 years and all of a sudden uh, all this stuff now yeah. you allow going on? This never happened yeah. when you grew up. That's it. That's it. Amen. Amen. But as young brother said today, we need leadership yeah. that's going to stand firm that's it. and let the congregation know. We're going to stay with the word of God. Oh, and if yeah. that's not what you want to do, yes, find you a place somewhere. Oh, yeah. 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 Find you a place somewhere. Because it ain't happening here. Yeah. And we at peace at Highland Heights. We at peace. Yeah. And it's a, it's a, I think the Lord says it's a wonderful thing when you at peace with the brethren. Yeah, you at peace with the brethren. And, 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 and having said that, we still pray for those that are left. Yes, yeah. You still love them because they're your brothers and sisters. Yeah. Yeah. But let us get back to the first time love. Yes, let us remember first, the Lord says, what we've left from. Mm -hmm. Leadership, preachers, yeah. remember where you've fallen. Then after that, then you got to repent because you've erred. And then go back and do the first works yes, that when the Lord come, he'll be able to say good things Lord, about all of us Lord, going back to the first time love. Lord, yeah. Let us not have any, no, no more discussions <laughs> on the role of women. You should have taught them that before they came, became women. Yeah. Yeah. No more debates about whether instruments and whether basis in the mind. And I'm talking about leadership. Yes, yes, you know, sir. it won't happen. That's it. Not at Highland Heights. All right. All right. Yeah. Amen. You know that. If you ever come worship with us, you will see we, uh, the Paul talked about that tradition being handed down. Yeah. We're going to stay with the apostles doctrine. Yeah. 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 And if you don't want to do that, find your place somewhere. Yeah. That's my message for this evening. Thank you very much.
Let us all say amen. amen. And I bring greetings from the Church of Christ at Holland Heights, where I labor with my closest friend, Brother Tommy Brooks, 